Hey everybody, so before I go ahead and go and say anything else, the background footage is Overwatch. If you're interested in that, you can just simply watch it. If not, you can just tab out or something. And if you'd downright like to skip this first introduction part of the video and get straight to the Q&A, there is a timestamp in the description down below. However, I advise you watch the entire video, like the video is in its entirety, because I do have quite a lot of things to announce in this first part. And plus the Q&A is just a fun little thing. But before I get into my little announcements of sorts, I just like to do something I don't do normally, and that is ask for help from my audience. You people, the people watching this video right now. I'm asking for your help, and you'll see what I mean in a second. But keep in mind, you don't have to do any of the things I'm about to mention, uh, but if you'd like to help me out with things such as accomplishing some goals I have for the year, such as YouTube verification, maybe even Twitter verification, then it'd be appreciated if you could help out. So firstly, and this is more so just to be on the safe side, if you do enjoy my content, if you use the YouTube app, turn on the little bell notification thing or the just press the little bell thing to receive notifications whenever I upload because I've noticed sub boxes, while they do tend to work most of the time, they are very finicky at times. So if you always want to keep up to date, like when I upload and stuff, like if you always want to make sure you know when I upload or like you want to be the first commenter, because I know a lot of people have been doing that recently. If you want to be that guy, then turn on those notifications, you know? And keep in mind, you're, if you're only turning it, let's say you only have all those notifications for me or whatever, don't worry, I'm not going to spam you. I only upload once a day, maybe two if I'm really feeling it. But if you have notifications on for other YouTubers, it shouldn't be that bad, really. Another thing, and this one is a bit on the weird side, but it'll make sense. So as well, if you could follow me on Google+, Plus, that'd be very appreciated. Now, you're probably like, why Google+, Plus? well, the way YouTube verification works and this is not exactly, this is not guaranteed it, but it's more so involved with the whole Google Plus type stuff. So if you could follow me on there, that'd be great. Keep in mind, you don't even have to use Google Plus. You don't have to interact with the whole thing. If you just simply can follow me on there and that sort of thing, because that's kind of just how verification works. It's very bizarre. Um, that'd be great. Like I said, you don't have to use Google+, Plus. you don't have to do anything involving it, just simply follow me on there, I'll have a link in the description, all that sort of stuff, so you can do that. And if you already use Google+, Plus, so just, just follow me, why not? It's not like I'm gonna like spam or do much of anything with Google+, Plus. I don't like Google+, Plus, but it does help my chances of getting my channel verified, which would be very useful and very cool, so that's why I'm asking. And last but not least, follow me on Twitter to stay up to date with whatever may be going on with the channel, videos, and so on. Now, Twitter verification, I'm probably very, very, very far away from any getting anywhere near that, but it's worth a shot, you know? Plus, like I said, I do post a lot on, like, videos or something of that sort. I have posted, like, little sneak peeks of videos days before they come out, so there's gonna be that as well. So if you ever want to see that sort of stuff, follow me on there. If you don't have a Twitter, you don't have to make one. If you would like to follow me on Twitter and you don't have a Twitter, then you can just make one and all that sort of stuff. But you're not forced to, like I said, with all this stuff. That's just, All of this stuff is just if you'd like to help me out with these things that I want to try and accomplish. But like I said, you don't have to do it. I'm not forcing you to. It's just more so in your own respect if you'd like to or not. Now onto some quick announcements I have. So this coming weekend, the 4th and 5th of June, in celebration of 10,000 subscribers, I'll be doing as many Smash 4 viewer matches as I can possibly do and compiling that into the video. So yet again, follow me on Twitter to keep up to date with that because I'll be posting details on that. Just maybe some, just if you have any questions, you know, I'll be answering it that there as well. But keep in mind, I'll only be doing the Wii U version because that's the only version I can record. So I do apologize to anyone who may only have the 3DS version, but that's just kind of how it is. As well, you don't even have to be a viewer of mine to participate in this. If you just simply want to fight me in Smash, like you've seen me around and you're like, oh, I want to fight this guy in Smash. Go ahead, just, you know, do all that sort of stuff. I'll, like I said, I'll have more details on that as that comes closer, but just keep an eye out for that. And lastly, and this is quite probably the biggest thing I have to talk about, is if there's any game in particular, and I mean any game in particular that you would like to see me do a one-off on, meaning just a single video, you know, the videos where I like, where they're like um, a bunch of gameplay just smushed down into a couple minutes. If you'd like to see that on any game, just simply comment down below what game you want to see. 
Because the thing is, I do just tend to play whatever game I want with that, but I'd also like to play what some people would want to see me play, basically. So like I said, if you want to see any game in particular played by me as a one-off, comment it down below. I'll try my hardest to play as many as I can. Uh, some will certainly be a lot more difficult to, than others to pull off, but we'll see. But that's it for all the announcements. Time to get onto the Q&A, the big bulk of the video. All right, so I've tried recording this like two times already, but hopefully this will be the one. Jesus Christ. Okay, I don't know what part of this is going to be in the video anyway, but I'm going to be answering some questions. So let's get right into it. No interruptions, no anything. Let's do it. How many pencils can you fit in your hair without them falling out? Probably like two because my hair is not that solid, actually. I know it might look like it, but it really isn't. Who came first, the egg or the chicken? Neither. Could you play through any of the Shin Megami Tensei games? I've played Persona 3, and I didn't like it. I might try some of the other games at some point or another, but for now, the answer is a no. Can you believe it's not butter? Possibly. Would you rather urinate lemons or barf melons? I mean, neither, but if I had to choose between the two, probably barfing melons, because that, even though that's still impossible, it'd be a lot better than uh, urinating lemons. Good God, Th think about how painful that'd be. Oh God. Are you going to do some videos with other YouTubers? I do have a collaborative series planned in the future and will more than likely be doing some more collaborative one-offs in the future, but at the moment, not really. I personally prefer doing solo content because it's more so in the control of me and things of that sort. Oh god, this question. This question! I saw it the day of and just thought, uh, like, I, I asked, just ask away, ask whatever you want. Just straight up, out of everything this guy could have asked, he just asks, are you gay? Well, the answer to that is no. Do you enjoy dolphins? My opinion on dolphins is neutral, so there is no answer to that. Will you get a haircut? No, not anytime soon either. How did you come up with the idea to corrupt Undertale? So for the longest time, I've wanted to do corruption videos of sorts ever since I discovered the whole Vine Sauce crew. Uh, by the way, my personal favorite's Joel. Uh, no offense to Vinny or anyone else, but uh, you know, I like Joel. I discovered Vinny first, saw his corruption videos, and thought, well, these are hilarious, these are great. Eventually, I started watching all the other ones. But in specific, with the idea to corrupt Undertale, uh, I got the idea from GPM, that's G-E-E-P-M, if you're curious, uh, because I saw he apparently had, like, an Undertale's corruption thing, and I was like, huh, you can corrupt Undertale? So, I sadly, I, okay, I didn't watch the video immediately because I wanted to have my first time reaction to the corruptions in general and I didn't want an idea as to what it'd be like, but after I finished recording uh, the my corruptions, you know, I went back and watched it and honestly, I have GPM to thank for just the inspiration for this in general because a lot of people have really been enjoying the corruptions, so I don't know, I don't know if you're a fan of GPM, if you are, you know, thank him for the fact that the series exists. And if he's watching this, collab, please. What were you doing with YouTube when you first started? Ah, uh, just some stupid Minecraft videos. Let's not go back to that. Okay, this one's a bit lengthier, and actually there are more lengthy questions after this, but still. Uh, so they say, hey dude, I like the music that you play in your intros and background stuff. And I more or less know the genres that they come from, as in they listen to those kinds of songs, but their question is, what kind of music do you, I like, and can I, and is, can I recommend any songs that I like? So, I like a very wide variety of music, except country, I hate country with passion. I like a wide variety of music, but the main majority, like the main sort of niche of music that I listen to is the more aggressive, sort of hardcore rap sort of music. Uh, some examples, I guess you could, let's see, what would be a good example? Uh, I know Suicide Boys would be one, XXX, Tentacion, Crime Wave, those are the main guys I listen to. Uh, all of which, keep in mind, they're very vulgar, they're not child-friendly in any way, so if you are a child, don't listen to their music, it's a bad idea, your mother's gonna hate you, and it's, okay, like I said, it's very aggressive, it's very in-your-face, it's very scary to the, to the person who doesn't, to the type of people who don't listen to that, uh, but I absolutely adore their music, but some other people that I would recommend that are not so in your face and super duper aggressive would be basically everyone from Exordium. That being, let's see. So you got Square. We got no one. Is it no one important? It's like, it's something like, I always forget. Uh, who else? We got Rav. We got Kill Bill. We got uh, Rekadam. 
Fun fact, Rekadam did like some drums for some Steven Universe songs, so that's cool. But the the whole Exordium crew, I love what they do. I'll link I'll link basically all of the people that I'm talking about in the description below if you're curious and want to listen to them. But like I said, just a fair warning, I don't listen to very <laughs> It's a very calming music, but the, if you're looking for the more not aggressive and in your face sort of stuff, I recommend the Exordium guys. Uh, Beneath the Toxic Jungle is a good one. Uh, what is it? Existence is Existential is pretty good as well. I also really liked Ramona from uh, Bill and so on and so forth. But like I said, if you're curious and want to listen to all that, just check the description. So you know how I said that question was decently lengthy, but then there was another lengthier one just coming right after it? Here it is! This is like a whole bunch of questions, so I'm just gonna speed through them. There are many people on YouTube with opinions close to yours or even reactions. Have you noticed? Do you subscribe to them? What is something that you could do to make yourself stand out from the others? That's not exactly how it's phrased, but I'm gonna say it like that. Besides your plushy hair. Okay. First off, I like the way you described my hair. That is a very nice way to say it, but... Can I say that, like, I have noticed them? Not at all. Not at all. And there, there's one big reason for that. I don't really watch YouTube. I really don't. Uh, like I said, I'm a big fan of the Vine Sauce guys, but all I really watch is the occasional videos from the Vine Sauce guys. I watch Video Game Donkey, I watch Conjun, I watch Chugga Conroy, I watch Game Grumps, and that's it, really. And even then, I don't watch them, like, daily. I watch them, like, every couple of days, or, like, I like the end of a week or something. Because I, I don't know, I just don't really watch YouTube all that much. So that also kind of answers the do you subscribe to them? Uh, no, I'm not subscribed to any of them. Any of those people who may have those same reactions, I suppose. And what is something, I guess, that can make me stand out from the others? I suppose my charisma and energy. Because the thing is, I have a certain way, like a certain thinking process that's not necessarily very typical. It's not very just like... Like, okay, what I like to do is I like to make people think that I'm going to say something or react in a certain way and then just do it a complete other way or exaggerate it. I love exaggerating reactions on purpose, obviously. I'm not going to just be like, I'm not just going to be like some guy trying to fake a reaction or something, but I do like to exaggerate the occasional reaction here and there. But the thing is, I'm also just very energetic most of the time and just very just full of life. So it's just like a lot of what you see in videos is straight up just how I am. Keep in mind, not all the time, obviously, sometimes a bit more like laid back and sort of stuff because reasons. But that's that. What else is there to this question? Well, the final push into deciding that you would actually post your videos onto the YouTube platform. There was no actual quote unquote final push. I just simply did it back in seventh grade and that was kind of it. And will you make your own game? If so, what would be the top three games? This game would be heavily influenced by and for what consoles? Uh, will I ever make a game? No. What would what three games would influence them? Um, the Mother series as a whole, uh, the Paper Mario series as a whole, and the Pokemon series as a whole. Those three games have influenced me the most throughout my life, and I really do adore all of them, except for Sticker Star, Mother One and Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. Those are like my three, like, I just don't acknowledge the existence of those games. But I love those games, that are, those series of games, they're great. And what console would it be on? Um, PC, because I'm a PC elitist. I love PC. The only console I own is a uh, Wii U, basically. Oh God, this is like five, not really questions. They're just, they're just like, whatever, okay. Number one, why do you look like Jesus? I don't. Number two, if you get the chance, can you play Earthbound Afro Experience? Now, at first, I thought that was, was a joke. No, this is an actual game. Maybe one day. Uh, three, can you solve a Rubik's Cube? No, I've tried before. I despise it. I hate it. I never want to touch a Rubik's Cube ever again. Number, I accidentally hit my mic up. Number four, do you speak watermelon? No. And number five, why is this the only question that has a question mark? I don't know. Ask yourself that. Next question. Are you actually playing CSGO now, or is it rotting in your Steam library? Well, by the time this video comes out, you'll more so know the answer to that, but it is just gonna rot in my Steam library now, because aside from the one-off, I don't really have all too much interest in playing it, basically. What is your favorite Undertale AU, or alternative universe for those who aren't all aware? My favorite one probably has to be Swaptail. I like the designs of a lot of the characters in that, and plus, like, the, the Alfie's Undyne swap I'm a big fan of. Are you gay, XD? All right, look. <laughs> look. <laughs> no. What are your hobbies besides YouTube? Uh, I read I read a couple mangas, comics, things of that sort from time to time. 
um, you know, listening to music. I make music very infrequently. Maybe there will be some more stuff on that in the future, but that's that really. I don't do all too much. I'll, of course, play games as well. Can I snoogle your, I think, face? I don't, they, they, F O O C. I don't know what you're, you, you mean by that, but no. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> How? I mean, I guess that's your answer. Sans Papyrus or Gaster? Papyrus. Because I feel he doesn't get enough love. He gets a lot of love, but so do all three of them. But personally, Papyrus, I, he, he needs a little bit more love, you know. What is your favorite color of math? Three. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry, what? Will you be my dad, please, someone says. Well, the answer to that is no. And lastly, what would you do if YouTube didn't exist? Like, what is your plans for the future if you don't do YouTube? So, in general, if YouTube didn't exist, I would more than likely be doing some creative writing of sorts. Uh, because I really, I really like creative writing. And on top of that, you know, like I mentioned earlier, um, music. So, my plans for the future, if it doesn't involve YouTube, more so involve things such as music and creative writing. And that's all I can really say. I can't say I have any definitive answers or anything of that sort, but that's it, really. Oh boy, that was a lot of questions, and thank god I re-recorded this because the, like, second time I tried this, it was like nearly half an hour long. So, hooray. Now on to whatever else is left in this video, if there is anything left in this video, unless I made this like the last part, then I'd seem really, really stupid now, wouldn't I? Good evening, melancholy. Sometimes I wish I'd leave this hellish body and relieve myself from meaningless distress. But tonight, you ain't seeing me upset. No more girl and get back with me, no release, send me a text, and nah. Uh...